This episode is sponsored by the Clever Girl T-shirt. Check it out at the viral store. Tyrannosaurus Rex vs. Triceratops Not only are Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus the two most popular dinosaurs to ever live, there were also contemporaries prowling the plains, creeks and woodlands of late Cretaceous North America about 65 million years ago. It's inevitable that a hungry T-Rex and a wary Triceratops would have occasionally crossed paths. The question is, which of these dinosaurs would have emerged victorious? First, some stats. Tyrannosaurus, height at head, 6 meters, length, 13 meters, weight, 6 to 8 tons, diet, large and sometimes armored dinosaurs. Okay, now the weapons of the T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus had a bite force of around 6.5 tons and had over 60 20 centimeter teeth lining his 1.2 meter jaw. Using his bite force and teeth, Tyrannosaurus could easily tear off over 60 kilograms of flesh. He could potentially kick using his legs, but this was unlikely because it could easily unbalance him. Anyway, kicking a Triceratops would be pointless as it's too robust. When battling, the T-Rex would most likely try and tear the head off Triceratops to gain access to the herbivore's succulent neck meat. Now onto the stats of Triceratops. Height at head, 3 meters. Length, 9 meters. Weight, 12 tons. Diet, Cretaceous plants. Now onto the weapons of Triceratops. Triceratops possessed three deadly horns and a bony frill to guard his neck. It also had a very thick hide, which would be difficult to penetrate. Now onto the advantages of the T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus had many advantages over Triceratops. He had teeth instead of a parrot beak and a strong bite force that could tear chunks out of Triceratops' neck. Tyrannosaurus had a larger brain and was smarter than Triceratops. He also had forward-facing eyes, giving him excellent 3D vision. Tyrannosaurus had more fighting skill because he regularly hunted dangerous prey and had to fight with rival Tyrannosaurids. Now onto the disadvantages of the T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus had a few disadvantages. He did not possess any armor and his skin was thinner, easily wounded by, say, a horn or three. Tyrannosaurus walked on two legs and was less stable in a fight than the four-legged Triceratops. Now onto the advantages of the Triceratops. Basically, he had horns, three of them. T-Rex might have a strong bite force, but that wouldn't help much against the charging Triceratops. If the Triceratops penetrated the T-Rex's side or leg using his horns, it would be game over for the T-Rex. Now onto the disadvantages of the Triceratops. The Triceratops had a bony frill guarding his neck, but this wasn't 100% effective. After examining tooth marks on Triceratops' frills, paleontologist Denver Fowler of the Museum of the Rockies in Bozeman, Montana, reconstructed how the T-Rex could have torn the head off the great three-horned dinosaur to gain access to the herbivore's tender neck meat. There wouldn't have been much flesh on the frill of Triceratops, Fowler pointed out, so it's more likely that hungry Tyrannosaurs used the bony collars for leverage to wrench the skull of the Ceratopsid away from its body. Triceratops could also take easy damage to his sides and legs, but the hide was no doubt very thick. Verdict. I reckon Tyrannosaurus would have won 70% of the time. Now let's see what a sober scientist would make of all this. Who would win, the T-Rex or Triceratops? Jack Horner reckons, no one. They wouldn't fight to begin with. There's a lot of evidence suggesting that T-Rex and Triceratops did indeed fight, but it's tough to figure out how it went down. Remember, T-Rex was a scavenger and a hunter, so most damage found on Triceratops' bones inflicted by T-Rex could be due to the fact it was already dead. We need to reimagine what a confrontation between Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops would have looked like. Instead of two equally matched dinosaurs squaring off against each other, adult Tyrannosaurus probably ambushed young, unwary Triceratops or picked off sick individuals too weak to put up a fight. Tyrannosaurus had no sense of honor to uphold. The tyrant was an apex predator that had to maximize its chances of acquiring flesh. And the only safe adult, Triceratops, was a dead one. Perhaps someday, a lucky researcher will stumble across evidence of our favorite Hell Creek scene at a field site or in a museum drawer. For now though, we need to consider the magnificent Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops as real animals, and not mindless monsters made to gore each other for our delight. Buzz kill. Shut up. Well, it's true. So what do you reckon, who would win in a fight, T-Rex or Triceratops? Please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Also, please follow me on Twitter. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, consider supporting me on Patreon. Or you might catch me serving you at McDonald's real soon. 
Oh, and make sure you click the bell icon to turn on notifications. I'll see you later.